Hey everyone, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be looking at shelf number 8 of my entire 2019 Blu-ray collection. Let's get straight to it. So kicking things off, we've got a, uh, a great film from the Japanese director Akira Kurosawa. This is a Criterion release and it's called Dreams. Next up we've got one that I'm sure lots of people are familiar with. This is Dread. This is another film that's quite popular with uh, film collectors. This of course is Drive and you can pick this one up quite cheap these days. Next up we've got an, excel an excellent film called Drug War from the uh, Chinese director Johnny To. Uh, so as you can tell this is a Chinese film but it is a US release from uh, Welgo USA so it's region free. Here we've got Due Date. Next up we've got Dunkirk. This of course is the uh, recent remake from Christopher Nolan. Next up, uh, we've got a great uh, release from Arrow. This, of course, is Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive. Here we've got a British horror film, Eden Lake. Next up, we've got Edge of Tomorrow, which I think is one of Tom Cruise's better recent films. Tim Burton's absolute classic and probably one of Johnny Depp's most iconic performances. This is Edward Scissorhands. Next up we've got a uh, bit of a tearjerker, this is 8 Below. Next up we've got a BFI release, this is a Spanish film called El Sur. Next up we've got a couple of excellent films from uh, J Chinese director Johnny To again, this is Election and its sequel Election 2. Um, I saw Election a long time ago and thought it was decent, but I only picked this one up fairly recently and I hadn't watched the sequel um, until I picked it up um, a, a month or so ago. Really, really good films, these. I've heard that there is a third one going to be in the works at some point soon. Uh, definitely look forward to that. Uh, well worth checking out, these ones are. Next up, we've got the John Favreau Christmas classic. This is Elf. Just thought I'd show you the slipcover artwork there in the original Blu-ray. Next up we've got a film that was given to me um, by my mum because she won it in a competition and uh, didn't have a Blu-ray player at the time. Not that it's probably not going to be her type of film anyway. So this is called Elite Squad, The Enemy Within. Um, it's a Brazilian film about um, war on the uh, favelas basically. It's actually the sequel to uh, the first film which is just called Elite Squad. Um, although I haven't seen the first one um, and even though it's got a pretty you know, generic cheesy title it's, it's such a decent film, it's worth checking out and I believe these have been um, seen in like Poundland so you can pick them up pretty quickly Next up we've got a film called L uh, by of course the great Dutch director Paul Verhoeven Here we've got the science fiction film Elysium Next up we've got uh, more cinema from South America, this time it's from Colombia. This film is called Embrace of the Serpent. Uh, you can actually pick this one up quite cheap these days. Um, really, really great film, well worth seeking out to find um, if you want to see something different for a change. Here we've got a Chinese film called The Enchanting Ghost. This is another release from the 88 Films uh, Asia range, part of the uh, Shaw Brothers collection. Next up we've got the Arrow release of the science fiction film The Endless. Uh, this got the slipcover on the left and then the, uh, the alternative artwork as well. Um, really, really good film, this. Um, becoming a massive fan of these two directors. Um, you also get in this, uh, in this release one of their early films, Resolution, which ties into this one. And uh, in one of my pickups uh, in my recent videos, I also watched a film of theirs called Spring, um, which I thought was equally as fantastic. Uh, yeah, these are uh, just well worth seeking out. Um, take my word on it. Next up we've got The Equalizer and its sequel, The Equalizer 2. Uh, yeah, decent action films these are. I, much, I do prefer the original to the sequel, but uh, Denzel's always fun to watch and uh, it's good to see him in an action role again. Uh, yeah, worth checking out. 
So here we've got one of my favourite films of all time. Uh, if it wasn't for The Thing, this would probably be my favourite John Carpenter film. Um, absolutely love this. Escape from New York, starring the one and only Kurt Russell. Excellent, excellent film. Shame its sequel wasn't as good. Next up we've got Escape Plan. This is alright if you want a bit of uh, Hollywood action. Next up, we've got a brilliant film. This is The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Great acting all round. Uh, Jim Carrey in a role that you wouldn't expect him to be in, uh, but not to take away from the other actors because, uh, yeah, this is just a fantastic production. Really enjoyed this one. Here we've got the science fiction horror film Event Horizon. Uh, absolutely loved this the first time I saw it when it came out in the late 90s. Um, I've loved it ever since. It's a bit of a uh, yeah, a bit of a guilty pleasure. This one. Next up, we've got the disaster film Everest. I thought this one was well, well made. Next up, we've got a release from Second Run. This one's called Everybody in Our Family. This is a Romanian film. Uh, as per Second Run's releases, it's uh, nothing short but great. Here we've got the Evil Dead films. So on the left, as you can see, we've got the trilogy, the original uh, films made in the 80s from Sam Raimi. And then, of course, we've got the more recent remake, uh, which I actually didn't mind. I thought it I thought it was quite well done. Um, nothing in my mind, though, can be Evil Dead 2. That, to me, is an absolutely classic 80s horror film. Absolutely love it. Uh, shout out to the uh, like the homage paid in in the most recent Stranger Things series as well, which was a definite uh, definite take on a scene from from Evil Dead. Uh, yeah, I do I do enjoy these films. They're cheesy, but they're great. Next up, we've got Ex Machina. Uh, this is from director Alex Garland. One to look out for. Um, yeah, he made uh, Annihilation as well. That was the same uh, same director. Uh, definitely a director to look out for future films um, if these past two have been anything to judge by. Next up, we've got uh, another Chinese film, uh, again from director Johnny To. I think most of the films I own uh, must live on this shelf. Um, so this one's called Exiled. Uh, again, another excellent film. He's such a good director. Um, this one is a Chinese release, this Blu-ray. Um, however, it is region free. Uh, and obviously it's got the English subtitles as well. Uh, yeah, definitely one to seek out. It's a great film. Next up, we've got the Complete Exorcist anthology uh, containing all the Exorcist films. So just to show you a little bit of the artwork you get on this release, um, as I said, all the Exorcist films to date are included, uh, I believe anyway. So obviously you get the original and the director's cut of that version as well. Uh, Exorcist 2, The Heretic, The Exorcist 3, and then you get the two sort of spin-off pre prequel films. So you've got The Exorcist, The Beginning, and then uh, the last film, which is called Dominion, prequel to The Exorcist. Here we've got The Expendables trilogy. So, as you can imagine, contained in this box set, you've got parts one, two, and three. Uh, I do enjoy these films, although I do think they get weaker as time went on. I think the first is the best. Uh, the second was half good. The third was a bit of a misfire. Um, if they do make a fourth one, please just make it like 18 rated again and don't focus on the young actors. People watch these films to watch the 80s stars. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say on that anyway. Next up, we've got a classic 90s action film. This is Face Off from director John Woo. Uh, coincidentally, I actually watched this film over the weekend. I've not seen it in a while. Um, whilst I must say, you need to ignore the science that goes on in this film, but uh, the rest of the films are um, an enjoyable romp. And uh, that speedboat, speedboat chase at the end still looks excellent. Here we've got the two Fantastic Beasts films. So you've got the first one, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And of course, the second one, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, these ones actually belong to my wife. She is a massive Harry Potter fan. So she bought these when they came out too. Um, and I think everyone's in agreement that the first one is superior to the second one. So let's hope the sequels pick up. Next up, we've got the complete Fast and Furious collection. 
There's no individual sleeves to this collection. It's just one large case containing all eight films, uh, which I think really got into their own once the fifth one, uh, when The Rock came into it. I think that's probably my favourite. Um, I thought the most recent one, the eighth, was a bit daft. Um, but, you know, to be fair, they're all a bit daft. Um, but they're all kind of enjoyable as well. So, yeah, if you enjoy that kind of thing, then these are uh, are not bad. And finally, for this shelf, we've got the Arrow box set of the Female Prisoner Scorpion collection. So this is yet another great looking release from Arrow. Uh, starting from the left, all four films in this collection. So it's Female Prisoner number 701, Scorpion. And then the sequel, Jailhouse 41. The third film, Beast Stable. And then the fourth film, 701's Grudge Song. Uh, as with most Arrow releases, you get a booklet to accompany it with it. And this one comes with a poster as well. Okay then, so that wraps things up for shelf number eight. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, come join me again and we'll be cracking straight on with shelf number nine. Uh, and eventually we will work through this entire collection. There's a few shelves yet to go. But we're getting there. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day.